So on number five on the eighteen oh one three oh document, it tells you that y prime stands for the rate of change of y with respect to x. It doesn't stand for the change in y. It's the rate of change of y with respect to x, right? And what is delta y? That is the change. It's what? It's the change, change in y. Change in y. Now, that's one place. I mean, we get confused when we see unfamiliar terminology, okay? You see the word change, and you forget everything else. Well, there's a rate of change, and there's the change, right? They're different, very different things. And, of course, we know that because we've been dealing with rate of change for a couple of days, okay? But it's easy to overlook it. It's, again, a matter of read carefully, okay? And once we get used to it, we know to look for that, okay? So the important word is not just change, although that's a very important word. That's the whole phrase, right? The rate of change and the change are two different things, okay? And delta x is the change in x, okay? Make sense? So, what can you write? Well, what do we mean by the rate of change of y with respect to x? Sorry? We asked, we asked for what I just explained it. I keep forgetting to put my hearing aids in. I want to We asked to explain it? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, then that would mean uh, y prime equals the change in y over at the change in x. That's exactly what it'll mean. Okay. Now that might be a little bit more of a jump that everybody wants to take. So how did we define the rate of change of y with respect to x? I mean, that's an, that's an excellent answer. It's, it's correct. But let's talk about the intermediate step because some people want to see that, okay? Rate of change of y with respect to x. How do we define it? The slope. It's the slope. Um, It's a slope between one point and another, right? Okay. Now, slope equals rise over run. Slope from one point to another would be what? I mean, I'm sorry, the rise from one point to another. How do you get the rise from here to here? You subtract the two y coordinates, but that gives you the change in y, right? Yeah. And the run is delta x, right? Mm -hmm. So your fundamental triangle is going to look like this. You don't know what the coordinates are, but you know that this is going to be delta y, and this is going to be delta x, right? Mm -hmm. And the slope is identified with the rate of change of y with respect to x, because that's the way we defined it. Okay? So the slope is y prime, right? Thus, y prime equals delta y over delta x. Okay? 
Make sense? Mm -hmm. Now that's really kind of not completely true, so I'm going to give you a qualifier here to this statement. It's actually just very close to y prime. Provided delta x is very small. Okay. Actually y prime is defined as the limiting value of delta y over delta x is delta x approaches zero. Okay? You don't need to remember that right now. I mean, you know, store it away somewhere in the back of your mind because we'll come back to it in the not too distant future, okay? But this is pre-calculus and that's exactly where the transition from pre-calculus to calculus occurs. Okay? We'll see that with the project. 